Hi, I'm Ismail. Today I want to show you guys how to use the Smart Function in Smart Life apps. So first of all, the Smart Life uh, Function you can see in the middle bottom here. This is Smart. So it's divided by two. First is the automation and the second one is step to run. So what different between these two? Okay, automation they must have the trigger from your device. Let's say for this case, right? So once your plug is on, then what is the task? Or when the uh, sun rises, so what is the task? Or when your camera is, de uh, is detect motion, so what is the task? But compared to the tap to run, it's not the trigger is by your tap. That means you need to press in the apps. Then the task will be. Uh, then the uh, the task will start. So it's this is automation, this, that means this is automated. Tap to run is a manual. So I will show you guys how you want to enable this tool. Okay, first of all, I show you for tap to run. So this is a few example that I already created uh, in my phones. So what especially is, what is, it, what is the task? And I'm coming back home. So I just need to press this button, and my light, all my light in uh in my house will uh will be turned on, and the TV also will turn on. So, but when I leaving uh my house, so I need to press this button leaving home. So all the plug and all the light will turn off. So for another one is the turn off TV. So I set for. Uh, let's say I want to turn off the TV only uh, so it will turn off the TV so by the button when I press something here so it will turn off my TV my Android box my, all my light in living room and my friends so Im uh, imagine one button can turn turn off everything so it's very simple uh, it's very helpful uh, for this task. That's, that's why you need to understand these two tasks and you need to master how to use uh, these two functions okay I create a uh, once uh, example for you okay so here uh, the apps will ask you set a uh, conditions so what you need to do is we press the lens step to run so because uh, that mean the, we need to press it then the task will, uh, uh, will start so what we want to try here so what if I press the button then I want to turn on all my light so I need to press the my living room I want to like here I will press on next so when I press it the so my living room light will turn on so I press the add button run this device also go into dining room light I click the light on save so yeah now two my of my light will turn on so I will press another one run this device like my bedroom like on save so then I press I press next button. So this three light uh we turn on when I press the uh, the task button. So this is the name. You can name it any name that you like. So I name it as a like on. Okay. So then this is your style. You can customize. You can change the icon. You can uh upload the image. It's up to you. So this one we show on the home page, uh, like I show you in the uh, in the previous video, right? Uh, so once they start, it will uh, it will they prompt the this task at your home page at Smart Life. So then you press save. Okay, see now it's light on. It's already available. So once you press this button, then all that light that we already set up it will turn on it's a uh, very easy so okay i show you another example so as to run okay for turn off right so what how when i i want to leaving home all the light will turn off so i run this device go to the same function also go to uh sorry i go to the light off fan also i want to off next then I select the tiny room light. Also, I want to turn off. And last is my bedroom. 
yeah this is my bedroom so i want to turn off my light and fan so yeah complete so you can name it and you can save so once you press this button you will turn off all your living room dining room and uh and a bedroom so by one button you can leave your house uh without to go uh without to turn off any plug in your house so i yeah i think you already understand how to use the tap to run is a very simple it's very straightforward then now i'll show you how to use the automations so how we want to use the automation so as i said before automation needs some trigger that's why first of all you need to press the add button here and press let tap to run sorry so you need that you need the trigger so what is your trigger so you can choose this is a few example you can choose weather as a trigger your location as a trigger schedule as your trigger or when device status that means when your device status is changed to on or off then what is your trigger so let's say i choose the when device status uh, says on okay i show you one example that i already use so when i turn on my fan so i have another device they call as a fan speed so i need i have a two tasks first i need to turn on my switch fan second one i need to turn on my fan speed so these two i need to turn on so how i want to slim simplify this activity so i just press the bedroom fan on so this is the trigger when the bedroom trigger is on then what's next so i run run this device so i press the fan speed switch on next so what this means so when i press the switch on the fan then my fan speed this is uh, my second device will turn on as well so it will turn on and we can add here maybe we can set the speed at the number three so yeah next so it was on and set the, the uh, speed at number three also you have a some uh we can have a few function here that is a send notification and delay so let's say i want to set the speed after 10 seconds yeah so i just drag the delay at the middle so once the fan speed is on so it will count as uh for the 10 second then the fan speed will change to the speed number three so this is yeah this one is the notification it will uh, it will pump up at your phone then this is the effective period you can say it's a daytime night or all day so it's up to you so the second one whether i want to show is okay so how so, i want to turn on all my light when yeah when the sunset is uh is start so i press the weather change here okay so sunset and sunrise so yeah i press the sunset so you can choose five minutes before or five minutes after so or it's a uh, correct sunset so i select five minutes before sunset so five minutes before sunset what this is the trigger so what's next what, uh, what is the task so i press run this device i press my living room i select my light on next i press add button run this device my dining room where's my dining room yeah this one so light on next so yeah it's all day so what what will happen here when the sun sets five minutes before the sunset my living room light and dining room light will automatically turn on so this will be turned on then how about if i want to turn off automatically so we go another way around so we wait it uh, change so go to the sun 
set sorry sun rise so five minutes before the sun rise so this is the trigger then we select run this device so living room sorry light is off then we say dining room light is off yeah that's it it's a very simple and straightforward so but you need to know how to use all these tasks so what is the send notification okay so this will turn uh will send notification to your phone once it's triggered so this is the function okay i think enough for today so you already know what is the tab to run and how to use it and what is the automation function so this is the few example that i already turned on maybe i can show you this one yeah so this is the my at my tv plugs so once my tv plug is turned on so it will delay for the four second and it will turn on my android box and it will delay to uh, turn on my my uh my tv and it will move my uh my menu to turn on my uh my uh my astro so all will be automatically turned on so you can use the same function for your applications so it's a very simple but you need to read uh you need to understand the function for all the uh all the functions that are available in the smart life apps okay that's it Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Bye. So.